Hey guys, what's up? Alex Perry here, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day as always. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create some really cool cinematic titles using Adobe After Effects and camera tracking. Let's check it out. Let's get to it. Okay, I think we're recording there. And I think we're recording there. So I think this tutorial can start. <clears throat> All right, so first things first, make sure you have a drone shot you wanna use. Once you have your clip ready to go, just drag it into your project and put it in the timeline below. I've already done this because this clip is quite long, so I didn't want to spend too much time scrubbing through the whole clip, but this is the stretch of footage that I want to use. As you can see, the camera is slowly panning back while it's going up, creating this nice pullback effect. Then to help speed things up, we're going to go over here to resolution settings and make sure it's set to a quarter, because if we don't, it can really slow down the footage when you're trying to play it back as you put the effect on. Then we're going to go up to effects and presets on the side panel over here and we're going to search for camera tracker. Then you'll see the 3D camera tracker here. So you're going to just grab that and drag it onto your footage there. So now it's going to have to analyze all your footage just so it can start mapping all the different planes that it could find in that clip. This could take quite a bit of time depending on how big or long your footage is. 34 seconds left on this. Alrighty, once this is done, you should see a bunch of colored dots all over your footage. Now, they might be quite small and a little bit hard to see and, and grab, so on the left hand side, you're underneath 3D camera tracker. Look where it says track point size, we're going to increase that just by dragging the number, the percentage there. So make it as big as you'd like so it's easier for you to see. And now it's a lot easier when you're trying to find the different planes. So basically the camera tracker finds different planes in your footage so that you can track objects or anything you put in there to those planes. You could also track based on a single individual point, but it is better to track based on a plane. So as you'll notice here, a plane is always in between three points, just like these three right here. So if you put that in between there, you'll notice that circular target shape thing is in 3D space. So that doesn't really look like a good plane that we want to track because we want our text to be more flat facing the camera. So we're gonna just move around and try to find a good point to track that's not really flat with the water, but that's like facing the camera. Okay, so this looks like a decent plane right here. So to start tracking using this plane, you have to just right click and click on create text and camera. So this essentially just added a text object in your footage that is now tracked to that plane. So if you start scrubbing through the footage, you'll notice the text has stuck to, that, to those points in that plane. Now we're not done just yet. Now, if you want to edit your text layer, you click on your text layer over here and you can type whatever you want. All right, so I've written beautiful landscape. We're going to change our text color to white. Okay, so. Beautiful landscape, and now we'll play that back again. Okay, so that's not quite how I want it, so now we can go in and make some more adjustments. On the bottom side panel here, you're gonna click on your text layer, click this little arrow to expand it down, click on the arrow beside transform, and then under scale, you can just click and hold any one of these numbers and drag it down to scale the size of your, of your text layer. You 
can also change the orientation if you like as well. So if you adjust any of these numbers, it will be rotating or altering different aspects of it. So I'm not really crazy about the angle that it's at. So I'm going to try to straighten it out a little bit. Make it more, a little more flat with the angle that the camera's at facing this bridge and the water. Okay. You could also, if you hit V on your keyboard, it enables the move tool. So now you can click any one of these blue, red, or green arrows to move and drag them in a direction you want. So the red moves it left to right. The green moves it up and down. Or you can just reform move it. The green one, which is the Y, is just up and down. And the blue one, which is Z, is the depth in space. So I'd like this to be a little further in the foreground here. Okay, so now let's play back our footage. Notice how it stayed there in place and changing the scale, changing everything to match the, the type of footage and the plane that it is on. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just I'm going to move this up. I'm not really crazy about how it looks where it is. And there you have it. The last step is just a little finishing touch, but still important nonetheless. So back on the left hand side here, you'll see this little icon with these three little circles. That is for motion blur. So you can click on that to enable it. And then under your text layer itself, make sure it's selected in that box right there. So this now added on a motion blur to it as well. All right guys, well there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It is pretty easy and simple, but as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to drop me a comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. If you found this tutorial useful, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification icon next to the subscribe button. This way, you get notified every single time we drop new videos just like this one. There's lots more cool stuff coming your way, so stay tuned. As always, keep creating guys. Peace out.